Hi, this is Claire again and some of you asked me to tell a little bit more about my books. And if you're not interested in my writing career, so to say, then just skip this video and go on with the reading the cards and everything, yes? But if you are interested, uh, it might take a little longer because I've written some books <laughs> until now. Uh, I would try to see, keep things short and the question I uh, always get is why they are not available in English. And the main issue is translation. Translation is expensive. That's that's it. Yeah. For one of my books, uh, The Healing Magic, I had it in the folk magic section here in YouTube. Uh, it is about traditional old healing magic. Um, I almost had it a publishing house, but then it, everything uh, went wrong with the translation being too expensive. I'm trying to translate it now myself, but um, of course it takes time because um, I'm doing my job and everything. So let's start with my first book. It is Basic Knowledge in White Magic. This was the first version at a very small publishing house that gave me the chance to publish it because if you're trying to publish a book you will know this is not um, easy. Really not easy. I had two years everyone saying to me, oh no, witchcraft, this is a topic, mm, it's true, ah, and things like that. Uh, but I tried it for two years and I got so many oh no's. <laughs> but finally I got a publisher and this was in 2000, I think in 2003 it came out. This was the first version. Uh, it is now at a bigger publisher and has this lovely cover. It is now at Heine. This is a big German publisher. And this book is really what it is called. Basic Knowledge in White Magic. So it is about the four elements. It is about the traditional seven planets of magic. It is about magical metals and uh, gemstones and plants. Uh, it is about amulets and magical tools and uh, witches' traditions and tarot and rituals and um, all those things. It is very, very basic. But this is um, this is one of the books that is most um, most people like, yeah. Sometimes it's really when you put it down to the basics and to the roots, and most people like this, yeah. So my second one came out in 2005. It is candle magic, and this is about everything you know about burning candles. Um, it is about, um, you will know many things like the, these shaped candles, for example, a cat, a skull and all these things you get in spiritual supply stores. Um, about herbal candles, about working with needles, uh, with, um, with uh, small pieces of paper, how you can use them and write your wishes down. Uh, about the colors uh, of the everything, uh, of the candles, um, about magical oils and how to make them yourself for it. Yeah, and um, about the candles for the months and uh, for your altar and the Sabbat and Esbat in witches' tradition. Of course, all these books can also be used if you are not in witches' tradition, you know. But this is my main tradition and so, of course, I keep it in that tradition. Um, yes, this book was also, uh, it went to a bigger publisher and has now a new cover. Uh, it is, um, yes, it's the same, but as you can see at the back, I really added some uh, some new stuff to it. And um, it is symbols, uh, I added turning candles, um, yes, all these things. Um, and of course, uh, some, some spells by myself that are very proven, yeah. And uh, all these things, yes, and my next book was Magic of the Witches. It appeared in 2007 and this is about everything. Um, yes, it's like a, it's like the follower of this. Yeah, this was basic knowledge and this is the advanced version, so to say. Here we go on and it's until today very popular. I'm very happy for this. This is about um, white magic and morals and things like that yeah it is about uh, meditation and chakra energy it is about what you wear the colors and things like that about um, jewelry and magical colors in themselves uh, it is about uh, odors and things you can smell and how to work magically with them about money magic about love magic about divination about the world of spirits it is about uh, oh, then some things come uh, that are like um, mis um, mixed topics, so to say. Uh, this is about like energy vampires, uh, shamanic 
which craft and which tools and how to, to get an approach into it. Uh, it is about um, household magic in the way of knitting and um, all these things you can do with your hands and that were used for magic uh, for a very long time, in fact, um, in our past year. Yeah? For example, a stitching, the old patterns, it was often that they had a magical and a protective meaning. Yeah, and uh, so this is everything comes from somewhere. Yeah, and I try to go into things here. Also, art and magic, magical bath, and um, yes, how to to do sacrifices and rituals to get in touch with gods and goddesses and all these things. So this is really uh, like just a moment. This one was the first, uh, and this is the the second part that gives you everything when you are through with this. Yeah, and very happily, a magic of the witches was translated in Polish. This is my only translation so far. Hello to my Polish fans, because I know you are very, very uh, hearty people. Yeah, uh, I got a lot of uh, feedback for this. I didn't expect it, and it is still. Uh, one lady from Poland told me it is still today laying around in uh, bookstores there. So I'm very, very happy and hello to you. I know you. Yeah, I have you in my heart and I'm very happy um, about your feedback because it was always very warm. Yes, next book. <laughs> We're still in line. Um, the next book was in 2009. It's uh, Witches of the City. Uh, and this book is especially about one thing that always was my problem, for example. Um, many traditional witches books who come from the Wicca direction, they are a very, um, that you have to go outside, you have to take your, your uh, kettle, is it called kettle? Your cauldron. You have to take your cauldron out and make a fire under it and everything. And of course, for normal people living in a city, this is very... Um, this is very difficult and we need another approach, not to totally different, but we need to do things a little bit different, yeah? And this is what this book is about. Um, because, of course, in the, in the starting of Wicca, uh, there were many of these leaders, they had a lot of money, they had their land, they had, uh, they had everything they wanted, yeah? For example, uh, Mr. Gardner was very... Um, very rich person so of course they had no limits but we are normal people living in the city and we also have to get it going so um, yes this is a book about that it is about uh, the inner garden and things like that it is inner working it is inspired from the gypsy traditions I mean the real gypsy traditions not what is sold as gypsy traditions uh, mostly and it is about uh, how to work with your spirits that it is not just a one way yeah, it is two-way and things like that. Um, it is about spiritual exercises and um, some gemstone traditions of the gypsies, the real ones. Yeah, um, It is about um, incense for the city and about the plants of the city. This was very important to me that even if you live in a very, very big city and there seems to be only uh, beton, these where you made the pavements with and all this and just some small plants coming out uh, you will find plants there and you can use them um, yes it is about inside and outside this is very important uh, inside is of course the, the spirits of your home where you are living um, it is about keeping your home clean because of course in the city you have very much uh, vibrances and very much energies and so you try to um, you try to get this in order, yeah. And this is it is about um, outside also. This is for example like mapping your town. Where is which energy residing, and how can I talk to this energy when I need it, yeah? And it is about, of course, all those things like bathing rituals. Um, it is about um, recipes for magical oil mixtures and things like that, uh, and at the, at the end, I have a little um, a little overview about plants in the city as you find them in our climate. I have to add, yeah. Uh, of course, I can only talk about what I know, and these are the typical plants we have here, uh, and some tips and techniques how to work with them. So this is this.